Russian President Vladimir Putin has said that the U.S. has in effect trapped fugitive intelligence leaker Edward Snowden in Russia, but added that Snowden could leave if he was able to. The fate of the former National Security Agency's systems analyst remains uncertain. Days after he met with a group of Russian human rights activists to repeat his request for temporary asylum in Russia. The 30-year-old IT specialist has been offered asylum in a number of Latin American states, but has no documents to leave Moscow airport. It's his life and his fate. He arrived in our territory without invitation. We haven't invited him. He wasn't actually flying towards us. He was traveling to other countries as a transit passenger. But as soon as he was airborne and this became known, our American partners had basically blocked his further movement. They frightened other countries. Nobody wants to receive him. So they have blocked him in our territory themselves. Initially, we told him, you can stay if you want, but you must stop your political activities. We have certain relations with the United States, and we don't want your activities to damage our relations with the U.S. Analysts believe granting asylum to Snowden would risk destabilizing already deteriorating ties between Moscow and Washington, but handing over Snowden may prove to be too much of a diplomatic vault face. Can he be sure that Snowden will not end up uh, seized by Americans as he lands somewhere or that uh, the plane would not be forced to land like it happened to uh, actually the plane of the Ecuadorian president? Um, and to be seen as somebody who uh, uh, put uh, Snowden on a, on a flight only for him to be seized. Uh, to be seen as indirectly somebody who turned in Snowden to Americans. This is something not acceptable to Putin either. Granting asylum would be to act uh, as if we were back in the Cold War. Whoever is the enemy of the United States or the United States government is therefore a friend of Russia. And I don't think um, uh, this is the kind of relations that uh, United States have with, uh, uh, with Russia, Russia has with the United States, and I don't think uh, Putin is uh, fully ready to switch to, to, to uh, this kind of arrangement. Mr. Snowden's leaking of thousands of classified U.S. intelligence documents has led to revelations that the NSA is systematically seizing vast amounts of phone and web data on a global scale. The documents also indicate that U.K. and French intelligence agencies also run vast data collection operations and that the U.S. has been eavesdropping on official EU communications.